here we go again, back on more Tour of France 2016 for PlayStation 4. We've gone through the second rest day and all my riders are fully energized now, ready to take on what I believe is the most important stage of this year's Tour of France. Stage 17, 100% in Switzerland as it says, up the Côte de Glass, then a small descent and then up uh, to Finhau in Mozon. It's going to be a crazy stage and I think the winner of this stage in real life is also going to win the, the Tour de France. Hopefully it doesn't happen here because I think there's a good chance that Quintana, Froome, Contador, Valverde and any other rider here has a shot of winning over me. Just praying I'm in good shape today and not in terrible shape because that can ruin my entire Tour de France. Okay, we're going up to the Foucault now. Uh, I just had Pope take me but he dropped off up in the breakaway head. There's a 19 man breakaway. I have put Tuvivo and Gauthier up there. We're going to slowly catch them and then I can use them to protect me for the rest of this climb and maybe even some of the second climb if they're strong enough. Oh, I hate when I hit riders falling back and hitting me. It costs me all of my momentum. But the peloton is getting smaller and smaller now. I think we've almost caught up with... I've actually overtaken oh, oh, Schulke here. But Portovivo is still just up in the group. You can see the mountain jersey right there. I think actually it's Chris Froome just trying to get a better way here. So now I have to use him for as long as I can. Come on. So I'm sitting behind him now and I'll keep on doing that for as long as I can. Of course he's protecting me really nicely here. Aru is way up here now. I think I can slow down a little bit because there's still quite a bit to hit the top of this Côte de la Of course you can regain some of the energy again on the descent and I have my energy gel as well but I would like to save my energy gel for the final climb. But you can really see Putsuvivo is pulling in a shift here. Just take it easy now. I think we're ahead now. I don't want to gap them yet even though it would be nice to have a little lead before uh, what's it called? The final climb up to Finho and Mosan, I believe the final climb is called. But only 17 riders remain now. Some of them, of course, are remains at the breakaway. Up in the head, we have Elison from, I believe, from Sitsu and Tame from Katusha. Uh, still trying to stay away, but I think they're going to get caught slowly and steadily at my pace here. And I want him to. St to you to stay here for as long as possible, so I'll take an energy of gel for him as well. Wow, a lot of people just fell off there. Froome goes now. Nibali asked them. Quintana and Hatador are still here. The Chipport was not with them this time. I don't know if there's any rotter riders I'm forgetting about that should have been here. But they um not really a long attack by Froome and, and Nibali. They just let me get back up and as we catch Tame, I think Elisande will die out soon as well. You can see Tame is completely hit the wall now. It's Bagil is back there in the white jersey with which he I think they may have Baka Mulema. Giesing is there, probably some riders like Dan Martin I would imagine is sitting in the group behind us. I don't think any of these riders yet are going to drop off. Contador and Quintana seems the weakest of them. And Contador right now actually got created a small gap. As Nibeli goes we catch up with Elisande from the breakaway. But we just went a bit too fast there. He dropped back to me. Contador and Quintana trying to get back to us again. Nibali have now gone away solo with Froome chasing after him. Of course Nibali is an excellent descender as well. Froome is dead. Wow. I did not expect this. Froome is dead with 3 kilometers to the top. And I still have my energy gel. This could be huge for me. I did not expect to be... Maybe Froome has a bad day today. He might be in bad condition on bad day shape, and Nibali is in great day shape, that is, can easily make the difference here on a stage like this. 2.2 to the top, Froome is complete drop through now, he's been overtaken by both Quintana Contador and actually Elisonda as well, that's a bad sign for him, he's almost down in the group with, I don't know who that two riders is, Froome is down with, but this is uh, yeah, not a great moment for Chris Froome right now. I'm thinking about taking like half my energy right here, just but I think I can just stay at this pace and then maybe catch him on the descent afterwards here. Right now, Portovivo is doing an amazing job. The strategy with sending a ride in the breakaway is really helping out for me so far. I think actually Nibali might be dead now as well. Portovivo will also, of course, gain some mountain points <laughs> doing this. 
which I'm, I think he's probably pretty happy about. He, he'll probably get third over the top here. But uh, let's just stay, uh, stay in his group without blowing up. So I'll drop him back and then I'll use a bit of my ND car outside using the horn uh, to catch up a nibbly here before the descent. I get second here. And immediately into aerodynamics so we can stop pedaling for a bit here. Of course this gives me a little gap to nibbly because I stopped pedaling for a while, but I think I can I can I can make that up on a descent here. We all have a minute down to Quintana I'm metting Contador. Room is also in that group. I don't know if I want to descend away from Nibali here. He seems to be in great shape right now. Mincenzo. I mean, my, my teammates did an amazing job. First, uh, Perot protected me in the first third of the climb. Then I did the second third, probably by myself mostly. And then the last third was also done by uh, Pozzo Vivo protecting me, especially when it was the hardest part of the climb. Now we only have the final climb up to Finho and Mozong. And yeah, things can really change there. Would have liked this to be a bit more descending and not as much flat road. But here again we can use the aerodynamics to gain some of our blue, back, blue bar back. You can see it's filling up so fast right now. We have about 108 down to the group behind us. Still a little bit more aerodynamics here. But we were about to be caught now. Use the control again. Going my own pace here. I have energy yet as well, but that's 10 kilometers to the top. At this pace, can, is this too fast or too slow? I have no idea. The best way we can look at this is just compare our time with the pace of the Quintana group. Right now we are 1 minute 15 ahead on one of the most important stages here. Only Nibali has been able to follow us, he actually went a bit away of us, but we of course chose to ride at our own pace for most of the climb. Quintana has dropped Puerto Vivo and another rider, Contador has been dropped from the group behind us. They're going really fast, I think, at the moment. Hmm, cutting corners here, just going straight instead of going right and left like Nibali is. I don't know if this actually makes any difference, I'm kind of hoping it is. 8.4% average here. Quintana has gone away, I think, with probably with Froome. Got to draw another 5 6 seconds behind. Then Putsuvi will probably get a pretty decent time today. I don't know if I can tell him anything to just smoothly go in this group. And then we have Villamoa and Gauthier e really far behind here. As I was saying, Pursuit Viva has already guaranteed himself probably his Mount Jersey unless Badia actually takes it from him. I'm a bit worried that I've gotten so many points on the category, two Category 1 climbs here at the finale that I might seal the Mount Jersey from my own teammate and it'll be difficult to get him back. There's a lot of points in stage 20 I believe, but the, it's difficult at least to get in the breakaway in the first place. Froome and Contador and Quintana are 50 seconds behind us now. Can I see him behind us? I still can't see him. Just want to see him. I know they're right. They're right there. It is Contador, Froome, and Quintana behind us. Then Pinot in the next group, probably with Richie Port and some riders like that. There we go. Increase the pace a little bit here. Two. Let's see uh, what they think about that. Both Nibali and the group behind us here. I think they're going to hurt a little bit because they thought they were going to catch me and I'm just going faster and faster. I'm the one setting the pace, Nibali is the one on my wheel, I'm waiting kind of for his move here. He's going 70% at the moment. We're increasing the, the lead a little bit now I think to Contador. They were down to 45 seconds at one point, up to 50 now, but it's standing still. I think they've increased the pace a bit as well, just to ensure that we don't get further away. Even more, let's see what will Nibali do now. He's gone down to 60 now. I think Nibali is struggling more than, than I. Than it seems. I'm hoping I'm right at least. 43 seconds now. Contador, Quintana and Foom Group is moving faster and faster. They're going really fast. They're trying to catch up with us here. 
Surprised I haven't seen any attacks from the group yet. Uh, you know, of the, of the three falling back. Rumors done a great job recovering after starting off on the last climb way too fast. I've dropped Nibali, I think, or at least around the corner. He'll have to close the gap up to me now. I still have many dear left. This is perfect. I can't lose this stage, I think. I think I've won this stage already. And this is stage I want to win the most, honestly. Maybe apart from Mandang 2, which didn't go that well. But we're increasing to Quintana now. We're increasing to Nibali. We're increasing to everybody I lead. Take energy now with 3 kilometers left. Let's fill that blue bar up a lot more and get away from them all. I think with just Joan who's going to win the Tour de France right here on stage 17. I don't think there's any doubt about it being Roman Badet anymore. He's just as strong as the small 12%, 14, 13.5% around that corner there. Crazy percentages, but it doesn't matter anymore for Badet. He can see the one kilometer port. It's only one kilometer ahead of him. <laughs> Uh, which means he'll soon be able to see the finish line as well. Nibali is getting left further and further behind, so is the Quintana Froome. Contador group almost a minute and a half. He's been the strongest of both climbs. Nibali was probably a bit strong up the last climb, but I, I had my energy left and I used it at the perfect time. Also, I dropped Nibali without even using my energy gel. So I think that deserves something of a uh, Cadeau as well. One kilometer mark here. One minute already to Nibali, 1.45 to the Quintana, Cotador and Froome group, even more to the rest, slow down a bit here. I know I have the red bar, but I would like not to use that. Let's see. Coming into the marked area where there's barriers so the fans can't plug us anymore, we can't crash because of them at least. Just take my deal, 500 meters here. 115, 2 minutes to the Quintana Froome Contador group. It flattens out here at the top. I die out, but I, I can still launch over just for fun's sake. And we win by a lot to the rest. Let's see them coming out of line. There is Nibali. There is Quintana Froome. And then I think Contador came in at fifth place there. There comes all our favorites way behind me. Let's take a look at Nova standings. I think I'm leading by six or seven minutes now. So yeah, today's result. I was in good shape today. Nibu was in great shape, which is why he was able to beat Quintana, Fumo, Cantador. Uh, which was in good shape as well, as was Wolang Bagil, but they just weren't anywhere near me. Uh, I think I played my teammates out perfectly. They helped me so well up the last climb, on the last second to last climb, and then I could just easily beat Nibali in the end with the extra energy I had left. Uh, I'm still, of course, in the green jersey, mountain jersey, I'm not sure of, I don't know, I'm still in the jersey, I just don't know if it's Badet or if it's Puzo Vivo. Uh, 6.41 ahead now, Nibali jumps ahead of Contador, uh, Quintana down to 5th, so it's pretty close for 3rd place right now, with the time trial coming tomorrow, of course. I don't know who's the strongest of the two of them on the mountain time trial. Mount jersey, Badet has overtaken Puzo Vivo, but Puzo Vivo, of course, still wear the jersey. I had to gain some points back on states 19 and 20. I don't think there's any more mountain finishes. So I don't think that's much more of a chance of me stealing points. Green jersey, I don't see me losing this because there's only 50 points on Champs So unless he gains a lot of bonus sprint points on the intermediate sprints during the stages, it'll be very difficult for Branko Card to win since I'm almost guaranteed to gain some results or some points on states 19, 20 and probably also 18. So I think I've guaranteed myself green jersey already. White jersey is still Bagil and team competition we have. I start now overtaking Team Sky and we are down in fifth place at the moment. But it's looking good so far. Tomorrow will be a mountain time trial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm pretty proud of the way I drove this stage. So if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting and subscribing. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for stage 18. Goodbye.